Today I have an interesting lesson on chemistry, a bit of a detour from the constant stream of mathematics and geometry. So a little bit of maths involved, but I, I'm really excited to share with you the nature of chlorophyll. And as you know, chlorophyll is often known as green blood. And maybe if you studied it at school, you, you know that it actually has a chemical formula. So I'm just going to read the formula. It's um, carbon, there's 55 molecules, or well, atoms actually. So carbon has 55, hydrogen has 72. We're going to add up all the individual atoms that constitute this green blood. But see how magnesium on its own, it doesn't have a one, but it's assumed that when you put magnesium, it's one atom. And what we're going to realize soon is that magnesium is the central cell of this whole mandala that constitutes green blood. So magnesium is the critical aspect of it. Nitrogen is four. And O5 is five oxygen. And it just happens that uh, when I added up all these individual atoms, 55 plus 72 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5, it happened to add up to that critically important number, 137. So there's a chlorophyll has 137 atoms that constitute its molecule of life. And we've done a few posts before where we talked about the fine structure constant, fine structure constant. Now this fine structure constant is known as alpha and alpha has got to do with um, how an electron emits a photon, how much energy is required at the Planck level. The Planck level is the quantum, the most smallest part of the physical world. And there's these amazingly deep formulas that Einstein and Richard Feynman put together. And, and it was all about not 137, but the reciprocal of 37. So when we say one divided by 137 on your calculator, it equals 0 0.007. And it's got to do with the fabric of creation at the, the most minuscule level, the, the microcosmic level. So just wanted to let you know that there's this incredible relationship between green plants and the physical world at the quantum level. And I find that really interesting. And what's binding all this together is magnesium. A lot of people, if you have um, nervous problems or other critical stuff going on, you need to have extra magnesium. And it's um, bounded by a cross of nitrogen. So this... These four nitrogens form like a shield, like a cross that connected. And then there's this cloud, like a torus, called a porphyrin ring. It's, uh, it's, it's based on what's called chlorine, chlor not chlorine, but chlorine. It's a chlorine ring known as a porphyrin ring. And this porphyrin ring is similar to what's around the human blood. So when the human blood um, under a microscope is almost identical to the chlorophyll molecule. So all this is the same, but the human blood has in the middle what we call um, iron, Fe. Iron is Fe on the periodic table, but it also is known as heme, H-E-M-E is the word for blood. So I've got hemoglobin, iron is the center of blood. And there's a bit more to it because there's this really long tail of what they call, um, it's a hydrocarbon. The hydrocarbon is when you see uh, C and H together, car carbon and hydrogen. And it's make, it's this huge like horsetail of um, hydrocarbons. So um, I do have a proper picture of it. So if you look at, if this is um, a model of it from the internet, and you can see that magnesium's in the center, there's a cross of nitrogen, the porphyrin ring and the hydrocarbon tail. And I apologize it's not in full color, but that just gives you an idea that that's the, from science, the scientific modeling of chlorophyll. And I know that a lot of you at school would have studied um, what we call photosynthesis because photosynthesis is the key to all life. Because if, if we didn't have chlorophyll, there would actually be no life on planet Earth as we know it. Chlorophyll is the key. And there is actually a formula for, for chlorophyll or for photosynthesis. So we take six 
carbon dioxide, CO2, and six water molecules. They combine with the energy of the sun. So these are the sun rays coming down. And inside the plant, there's a thing called chloroplast. The chloroplast absorbs is the is the manufacturing of where the chlorophyll is made and some rearrangement of the molecular information gets transmuted into what we call a sugar you could call it a glucose molecule so c6h12o6 is the sugar that is required for growth and for development of the plant plus as we know oxygen so oxygen is formed out of this so we, without plants, we obviously, as you all know, we don't, we won't, wouldn't be able to live here and have oxygen. And we notice that when you reverse this formula and do it the other way, it's the formula for respiration. So we give out, as we breathe out, we're giving plants the carbon dioxide that they need to live. So there's this reciprocal, in fact, we should put another arrow going this way because we have a reciprocal relationship with nature. Nature gives us oxygen and we give plants carbon dioxide and i really like that it's a very balanced formula and in a way it's saying that light plus water is creating these sugars um yeah and so that's definitely something to research for yourself there's lots of good information on photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis as you know means to come together yeah so um what i like about this story is that basically we need to keep connected to the garden we need to keep growing our green spinaches and kales i know it sounds boring but basically the more chlorophyll that we eat the the more um consolidated the human body becomes the more connected we are to this whole process and um and a lot of people also know that all this knowledge is connected to what's in the ocean so the so this is kind of a plasma and the ocean itself the ocean water when we analyze it is very similar to the 96 um, constituents in the human blood in our so our blood is like a plasma which is similar to the ocean but the ocean plasma is dominated by sodium when they analyzed all the 96 minerals in um, ocean water sodium is the dominant one but I'm just letting you know there's a connection between the human blood, between the ocean, between the plants. And I just wanted to let you know that mathematically what connects the big picture, the universe with the plant world and the mineral world is this fine structure constant of 137. And um, I was talking about where the number 137 comes from in geometry. If I, um, we know this is three cubed. And if I took out at the next smaller cube, two cubes. So if imagine there's these eight cubes and I took it out of this 37, uh, 27, you would see that there's kind of like an L-shaped uh, shell. By pulling, extracting out these eight, I'm left with one, two, three, uh, a shell. And if I counted all the numbers, there'd be 19 left. So by pulling out the eight, I left with 19, which is a prime number. So now if I did this with, imagine this was four cubed, because four cubed has got to do with DNA. We're talking about the, our cellular memory and DNA. So if this was four cubed, which is 64, take away the three cubed. So a three cubed would look like, say something like this. If I pulled the three cubed out of the four cubed, I'd be left with some information. I'd be left with um, 37 in the shell divided by the 27, um, the 27 of three, three cubed. So you add these two together, you can see that seven and seven is 14, carry the one, three and three is six. So that's the 64 of four cubed. But what's the relationship between 37 divided by 27? We end up with 1.37. And in harmonic maths, we're allowed to, to move the, the decimal point to the left which means something's getting smaller and smaller. That's the microcosm. But here in this case, we're gonna move the decimal point to the right and we end up with 137 like we have here. So this harmonic, um, the harmonic 137 is linked to the relationship 
of all this cubic geometry that has a connection to our DNA, which is four cubed, is 64. So I just wanted to let you know that this is just touching the surface. Um, there's a more information that's embedded in this, but ultimately we just always need to remember we have a connection to nature. That's the most important thing. And I just find that amazing that the our human blood is is almost identical to the plant blood, the chlorophyll. So um, if you're not feeling well, um, go see your naturopath and ask for more magnesium, magnesium water, magnesium supplements. It's big now. A lot of people are recognizing the importance of magnesium. So get into that. Look after yourself and keep researching and keep remembering your connection to the big picture and to the small picture. Thanks for this.